So let's go ahead and do a really random review. Um, yeah, like two things coming in this week. So there should be two other video. Well, it could be just one whole video. Um, besides that, um, I'll tell y'all after that. Let's go ahead and get started with this review right now. I like this how I feel when I wake up. I don't see no light inside the tunnel of mine. My girl just left. I guess that we're gonna break up. I just posted a fuck around with some other guy. My homies wanna go and kick it maybe some other time. I'm dead broken. Gotta work another job of the day. So yes, we are doing the review on Ritz's The Life and Times of Johnny Valiant. Uh, the reason why we're doing this review, of course, is because Next to Nothing comes out in two more days. I've got this pre-ordered. Um, I think it shipped out uh, yesterday um, from... No, Friday, it shipped out Friday, so I don't know when it'll be here. It's a mitts bag all the time. Here's like a 50-50, it'll be here that day or not. Or, I don't know. But anyway, so I just, uh, let's go ahead and do the review on this album. Um, because I've been listening to a lot of Ritz lately, so I was like, let's go ahead and do it. Um, and Don Chaos kind of gave me a, uh you know, help me kind of think about what I should do for my next video, so shout out to Don Chaos. Uh, so anyway, here is the CD itself. Um, this CD came out last year, if I believe right, and I think I am, yeah, it came out last year. I think it came around, um, hmm. I think it was around May. Um, it was either, it was, it was April or May, I can't remember, I'm not good with dates, so don't ask. Um, so here's the front of the, uh, the album, and here's the back of it. It's pretty dope. Um, I pretty, I pretty much like the, uh, um, I always keep these in my, uh, CD cases. I wasn't for a while. I got one over there with my collection stuff, um, but I'm gonna keep this one in here because it doesn't even have the picture for therapy. So I thought that was gonna be pretty cool. Uh, so anyway... Here's the disc. Here's the uh, back of the album cover. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and show you all the booklet and then we'll get into the review. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of flip through this. You got the front of the booklet right there. Uh, it's Ritz. Ritz again. And I think there's another. Come on. I think there is. No, it's just thick paper. Then you got songs. And then you got your uh, credits at the end of it, you know, who made it and all that. And then a thanks, a thanks and shout outs and all. I really never read through these credits. I just went through uh, the um, so I really never got to read the end credits and by the way there's the uh, the strange music pendant strange music uh, so that was pretty dope to see at the end of it um, so anyway let's go ahead and talk about this album uh, this album oh let, let's put it like this when I first when I first heard of Ritz coming out on strange music I was like, who is this guy? It's like, I've never heard of him, never seen him, never listened to any of his songs. I was like, who is this guy? And this was like the first day he got signed in, because it was like on YouTube or uh, something like that. Like it showed where it signed to Strange Music. I was like, who is Ritz? And, um, you know, and then he did that uh, question song, the remix to questions on YouTube as well. And he just, what he delivered. He, he was just great and I was like man this guy is just awesome it's like I'm gonna find some more of his other stuff and I kept listening to more and more of his stuff then I got into Ritz and then I heard about his new CD come out I was like I've got to go pick it up sadly I didn't pre-order it through Strange Music because of course it's not the autographed version but next to nothing I did pre-order through Strange Music and I should be getting a bunch of other stuff with it as well so that's one of my unboxings. I didn't want to tell y'all that, but it's coming uh, soon. This week, I'm pretty sure of it. But I don't know. Well, that's not my fault. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so that's 
can't help it with that. So anyway, let's go ahead and get through some of my favorite tracks on this album. And there's a lot. Um... I'd say probably one of my favorites off this whole album is Misery Loves Company. That is my absolute favorite track off this album. But let's go ahead and let's go through the songs that I really, really enjoyed a lot, which was uh, My Interview, Like I Am, um, Amen, uh, For Real, uh, Switch Lanes, and All Around the World and Misery Loves Company. I know I got those two mixed up at the end, uh, but overall, this whole CD is like a 10 out of 10. It's a definite uh, pickup. It's one of those albums where you could sit there and you could listen to it into its entirety and you couldn't even skip a track. With this album, there's no, to me, I couldn't skip, I couldn't skip through tracks. Uh, yeah, sure, I got my favorites. Everybody's got their favorites on an album, right? Um, but this album is, you can just sit here and listen to the whole album throughout and not even skip it. It's got that West Coast vibe, I can just tell you all straight off the bat. To me, it's got that West Coast vibe. But, you know, I like West Coast rap. Uh, Tupac, Ice Cube. I like the older, and that's what's got this kind of vibe, too. It's kind of like the older older West Coast hip-hop vibe. It's pretty dope, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, Ritz just was awesome through whole, throughout the whole CD. Uh, kept the same flow, well, not the same flow, but he kept a great flow throughout the CD, and it, he's just such a talented rapper. Um, after I picked up this CD, I actually went, uh, because on YouTube, if you look up uh, some of his older songs, um, like Sleep at Night, which is one of my favorite Ritz songs, it's like everybody's favorite Ritz song that's not on this album, um, there's a link at the bottom, and it's a download, it, you can download uh, the White Jesus uh, revival for free on uh, DJ Boob's website, so I went ahead and downloaded it. And that'll come up in another review uh, sometime soon. I'm going to take a guess. Probably after Next to Nothing review, probably. Um, but the whole CD is just great. Um, and it also introduced me to another favorite Ritz song. And that was uh, All We Know. And it was just such a great song. Um, and so this is a 10 out of 10, guys. If you do not have this album... My suggestion, go pick it up right now. It's at Best Buy. Um, it's on Amazon, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but Best Buy is probably going to be a cheaper way to go than Amazon. Amazon, it's going to cost $11 plus. They're going to have to put on like three or four more dollars. Um, so that should be something to get before you get next to nothing if you don't already have this album. Um... And also with Amazon, uh, speaking of which, I should have, which everybody's already got it, I don't got it, is the Killjoy Club, which is the the Mafia Sits and ICP CD. Um, that should have got here last week. Um, Amazon is taking their sweet time now. Um, with Knock Madness, it got here in like two days. With uh, this one, it's taking like seven to eight. Um... Uh, I don't know, and they plus they added like a six dollar shipping on her, and that's ridiculous. Um, so I don't know if I'll ever get anything from Amazon anymore, because that's kind of ridiculous to do all that. Uh, but the new Ritz album I did pre-order through Strange Music, so that boxing will come the day as soon as I get it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment on how what you thought about on the com or, or what you thought on the video. Uh, what is your point of view on this album? Do you think Next to Nothing is going to be one of Ritz, Ritz's best albums to come out? Because if you already heard the singles, they're really dope. Um, Bounce, uh, White Rapper, which is turning out to be one of my favorites right now. And uh, Crown Royal. So, I mean, it's just, it stats on and turned down. And it just stats on and it keeps in profit. And it, there's so many singles that come out for this album. 
So we kind of get like some point of a view for this album. So anyway, thanks guys for watching my video. I know this makes it a little bit longer than I usually try to. Uh, but as always, keep it, I don't know, keep it strange, keep it twisted, keep it psychopathic. Peace.